And Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Scott Vernon with Life Riders Motorcycle Ministries. Thank you for joining us this morning, Scott. Thank you, Chad, for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity. So we wanted to first talk to you about Life Riders. How did this organization really get started? In June of 2012, uh, 13 of us were on a motorcycle trip to North Carolina and Tennessee in the mountains. And uh, I guess the second or third day we were there, uh, we were riding down the longest, straightest road in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and a car crossed the center line and hit two of us head Jeez. on. Um, one other guy had to lay his bike down to avoid the debris and mm -hmm. all that. And um, our, our president at the right now, Sam Woolley, lost his left leg and uh, had some other serious injuries, and the other guys were injured pretty bad too, mm -hmm. but not life-threatening. And I guess once we all got back to Mobile and kind of started healing physically and emotionally, that was a tough thing to watch. Yeah. Um, we just kind of thought, you know what? God probably wants us to use what on the surface looks like a tragedy. Right. Uh, he wants us to use that for His glory and uh, turn it into a triumph. And that's what he's allowed us to do the last six years. Well, Devin Walsh was talking about it in our last segment. <clears throat> and uh, you guys have got a ride coming up this Saturday, the Restoration Ride 2019. Where and when is that happening? Next Saturday, March of 23rd, we leave from the battleship. Registration starts at 930 and we kick stands up. We leave it promptly at 11 o'clock for an escorted ride through Bowen County. Uh, uh, Bowen County Sheriff Loxley and Spanish Fort is going to escort us, so it'll be the safest possible ride you can have. Uh, we're going to wind up in Somerdale at mm -hmm. the Youth Reach campus. And uh, food, fun, uh, we got over $5,000 worth of door prizes that we're giving away for your entry fee. So what is the money raised money for, or what is the fundraiser raised money for? Youth Reach Gulf Coast is an 81-acre facility out just outside of Somerdale. Uh, they take 18 to 22-year-old young men at risk. Uh, they've made some poor decisions. Uh, yeah. Many, many, ch many times they've burned all their bridges. Yeah. They take these men and they teach them how to be men, how to be real men, how to work, uh, how to be members of society. And when they leave there, they know how to be husbands, they know how to be fathers, uh, and many of those guys have gone on to be on the mission field all over the world. All right, and you have a t-shirt for the ride as well? I do. The first 50, mem first 50 people to pre-register for the ride on our website at www.liferidersmm.com will get a free t-shirt. So how much money do you guys hope to raise this year? Well, early on, we set a goal, mm. and we agreed not to share the goal. Uh, it's a it's a goal that is very big and uh, it's it's almost double what we've ever raised for a ride before mm -hmm. and uh, we knew that on our own there was no way we would be able to do it it was only by God blessing this ride we did buy a 2009 Harley Davidson and raffle 300 tickets off so we got a pretty good start but I guess we just have to wait and see what we wind up with and really quick Scott who do you think this ministry is meant to reach Life right. We don't put ourselves in a box, so we reach out to anybody. But um, our primary focus, our mission is to take these motorcycles that God's blessed us with and use it to minister to other people, to make disciples. And uh, if we have a guy, if, if we hear of a guy in our area that goes down, has an accident, especially if he's spending time in the hospital, mm -hmm. we we like to go down there and encourage those guys, pray with them, because we've been there. We, mm -hmm. we know what it feels like to need somebody to come in and encourage you. That Life Riders Ride is happening this coming Saturday. Scott Vernon, thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning. We'll continue after the break.